Professor Nadir Arber, thank you for taking my call and congratulations on the results of phase one. My name is Carol Perelman and I am calling you from Mexico for Enlace Judío. Uh, and we would like to know the mechanism of action because I understand that uh, exo CD24 is exosomes with the proteins, the CD24 proteins embedded in the membrane. So what I would like to understand is how is it yes. that the CD24 inhibits the cytokine storm? Yes, so the CD24 has many roles. It is an important player in many pathways. One of the most important of them is down regulations of the immune system. It's, it's one of the mechanisms that cancer cells evade the immune system by re representing on the surface of the cell the CD24, which means do not eat me signal. In, as you well know, in COVID-19, there is two phases. The phase, first phase is like viral infections, which is meaningless, like an influenza, not need any treatment. In five, six, seven percent of the population, after about a week, there is rapid deterioration because of pulmonary insufficiency due to the cytokine storm in the lung. The immune system is overreacting, which gave us the idea to use CD24, which we have been working on for the last two decades, so we have a lot of experience with it. Yes. We also use exosomes. Exosomes, as you well know, are small vesicles derived from the membrane of the cell. It is used in the body for cell-cell interactions. It's, it's amazing. This is how cells talk to each other. In my lab, we have experience in isolating the exosomes. And we also know how to force them to overexpress CD24. So you have the CD20 exosomes that express high levels of CD24, and you know how to give it by inhalations, which go directly to the lung, where the, there is a cytokine storm. So in theory, it makes a lot of sense. We had very good results in vitro, in vivo, and also in 30 people that entered our phase 1B slash 2A study. So no side effects whatsoever, even the smallest one. And those were severe patients, according to the criteria of the Ministry of Health. And it was also pleasant to see that most of them experience clinical efficacy, meaning that they feel stronger, this came back to true breeze, oxygen saturation increase, as well as inflammatory markers in the blood. So I'm stressing it was a phase one slash to B to A, mostly to check for safety, but also it hints for efficacy. And now we are ask for extension for phase two and three, and we are waiting for the approval from the Ministry of Health. Okay, excellent. So I have a, a couple of questions. First, the exosomes you're using, they are a synthetic nanoparticles or they are natural exosomes? We are saying from HEC, from a cell line, a yes. kidney cell line, HEC, and we, it is tetracycline induced. So when we give tetracycline, so you know, it is a tet on and tet off. So they're tetracyclines dependent. And when we gave them tetracycline, they produce the CD24 in the exosomes. Okay. And then my next question is, I know your research has been uh, into cancer, which also has a, a immuno a genetic role for cancer. And so you have been studying CD4 for a very long time. So what is the exact inter interference of CD24 in the interleukin um, cascade? Uh, is this the, yes. the damp CD24 siglek axis? Exactly. It's interfering two points, key points in the uh, NF-kappa B pathways. In the binds to the dams, preventing them to adhere to the toll like receptors, and also they inhibit the cyclic 10, and again, in another way, inhibiting the uh, NF kappa B pathway. 
Ah, okay, perfect. So it sounds incredible, and I understand there is another Swede 24 uh, drug in phase three in America, which is um, yes, yes. So it's Oncoimmune. exactly. Yeah, oncoimmune, but they give they give it by the IV. Exactly. So the advantage here is so that it it's in a, a, an inhalation. Exactly. It goes directly. We use, it's difficult to compare milligrams to exosome, but if you do it, we give about one uh, per million. So this why I'm so sure that our drug is, is very safe. And it's now when we reached 10 to the 9th, and now I'm going to go even higher. So I'm sure it is going to be more effective and, and safe and safer. Wonderful, wonderful. And what about production? Because uh, are we starting anything while we're doing uh, the, the, the protocols, the clinical trials? Yes, of course. And we, are, we are doing it in a clean rooms in the Technion in Haifa. And most probably we'll be switching to, to clean rooms in... Hello, Professor? Professor Nadir? Estoy aquí hablando con el profesor Nadir Arber del hospital de Ijilov en Tel Aviv con los excelentes resultados de la eh, Exo CD24, cuya noticia dio la vuelta al mundo hace unos días. Uh, yes, Professor, you were telling me about the production you're doing in Technion in Haifa, but what about mass production? Yes. It is easy to produce it. It's easy. You know, it's, it's and now we, we are in, even improving for massive productions. Within a couple of months, I can supply the entire world needs. Excellent. It's easy, efficient. Yes, it's very effective. Wow. Easy to produce and also not expensive. Okay. But it's wonderful, wonderful news. And uh, I hear you arrived home already. Do you want to connect via Zoom? No, no, if it's okay. <laughs> I, it has been a long day and I still have a lot of things on my table. Well, do you need any more information? Well, I was very happy to understand the mechanism uh, of action and I do expect to hear marvelous news soon from, from you, from your team, and from the CD24 strategy. So thank you for the call and uh, Laila Tov. I'm at your service anytime, anytime. Thank you, Nadir Arverdes de Israel. Muchísimas gracias. Bye, Professor.